Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm a transformation coach and life strategist. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel or watching this video or reel or wherever you're watching it. I just appreciate you checking me out. So today what I want to talk about is personal transformation. I know that I throw that word out there a lot and a lot of people, other people do as well. So is there a difference between change and transformation? And what about manipulation? Let's go ahead and jump right in. I was writing this morning and I came across this quote and it said, throughout our lives, we change constantly. All transformation is change, but all change is not transformation. So the question we're working with isn't, can I change? But rather, how do I transform? That's an excerpt from the Center for Transformational Coaching's website. And I want to jump from there right now because I think that says a whole lot. Because think about it. We're constantly changing. Life is constantly changing, even without intention. Without intention, we grow older. Without intention, our health increases or decreases. Without intention, our relationships grow closer or farther apart. We cannot control change. We're not meant to. It's something that is always ever evolving. We are ever evolving, even when it's not intentionally. And sometimes that can be a spiral down or that can be an elevation up. But there's always going to be change. Change is inevitable. And it's so funny to me that so many people are adverse to change. And yet change is a requirement for living life here on earth for us, for animals, for plants. Everyone has to change and evolve and grow up or down. So understand that change is automatic, okay? And when you say I'm going to change something, do you just mean on the surface level, manipulating things to create some form of concept of change, or are you actually pursuing transformation? What is the difference? Transformation means that you're actually intentional about transforming, dramatically invoking change across different levels, but that has to start within yourself. It starts within. If you transform an element, it starts within the chemical makeup of that element, right? If you're transforming yourself, you're going to start from within yourself. It has to come from the core of who you are. Personal transformation is more than a manipulation and surface level changes of ourselves and our lives. It is a radical shift in our perception of who we are, why we are here in this world, radiating from the core of our very existence. That's more than change. For example, I want to change my body. So I'm going to go get a gym membership, which we're almost to January, y'all. How many of y'all made that promise to yourselves to go get a gym membership start going to your gym at work or start going to your gym in your apartment complex or your condo. Okay, that's change, manipulation on the surface. But will you have true transformation? How long will you stick with that process? Will you see results? Because the truth is, if you've had any type of sustainable weight loss, you know, just as well as I do, that it takes more than just working out. It's 80 or more percent more of what you eat and drink what you put into your mouth and probably if we could do more it would be your mindset what are you thinking about yourself do you believe that you deserve to look the way that you want to look all of that plays a part because it's the core of our existence and when you don't address that core all those surface level manipulations are only short term in my own journey the holy spirit had to really get it into my heart and into my soul and into my spirit and, and to change my mind about the fact that every time we try to manipulate things, it's only going to be a short term result and we're going to have to keep doing it. Hence, I'll speak for myself, continual weight loss efforts over the years, gain, lose, gain, lose, gain, lose, up, down, around and over and under. See, manipulation, short term. You're always going to come back around to doing it again. It seems it's repetitious and can seem redundant even sometimes. What's the point? But true transformation, the journey I've been on for the last couple of years, has been getting to the core of who I am, what truly matters to me, 
and then creating a process that works for me to take the weight off and keep it off for a lifetime. Because understanding it at my core and at my genetic makeup, this is something I will always have to be concerned about. And that might be you too. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you manipulate your life to do what other people are doing. You have to find what works for you and resonates with you and your core values and your belief systems and how you're made up. So that's the difference between change or manipulation and transformation, like a relationship, right? In a marriage, you want the reciprocity from your spouse or your significant other, or your, you know, your partner. You're not getting it. Been there, trust me. That's what triggered me to write the book, Reciprocity or Lose Me. I'm almost done with it, actually. But think about it. What are you putting out there? You're expecting something back. What are you putting out? Right? What's really radiating from the core of you towards that person? Is it bitterness, unforgiveness, anger? Are you dealing with some types of hatred towards yourself? Are you dealing with your own fears of rejection? Is that what you're putting out? Instead of radiating the love of God out to this person, wanting the best for them, and not just your selfish needs, but their needs as well. It makes a difference, y'all. Transformation goes deeper and it goes deeper within. So that's the core difference between the two. I hope that makes sense to you. I'm writing about this. You'll be able to read about it in my book. You can read about it on my blog. And I'll continue to talk about it more as we move forward, especially from chaos to clarity. Because chaos to clarity is transformation within itself. And you have to hit every area. You have to hit what's going on within you. You have to set boundaries and priorities for yourself. And you have to manage everything else that goes on around you and in your life in order to move forward as your true self, transforming your life and regaining hope for your future. I hope that was helpful. Have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.